I received their comment asking me to find all their factors of 50 factorial. Well, I'm not going to do that. There's way too many of them. If you're into videos like this, you should definitely subscribe to my channel. So, let's find the prime factorization. Well, let's, we, we know that 2 is going to be a factor, a prime factor of 50 factorial. Because one of the factors in 50 factorial is 2. And if you don't like that, 50 is, 2 is a factor of 50. So let's find out what's the highest power of 2, where 2 to that highest power goes into 50 factorial. So we want to add up the greatest integer function for 50 over 2 to the k. Where k goes from 1 to some number where 2 to the k is bigger than 50. So basically, we're going to get 50 over 2, 2 to the 1, the greatest integer function of that, plus 50 over 2 squared, the greatest integer of that, greatest integer of that function, plus 50 over 8, the greatest integer function of that number, plus 50 over 16, greatest integer function of that, 50 over 32, and then the next power of 2 is going to be more than 50. And 64, 50 over 64 is less than 1. This number, this number is in between 0 and 1. I can clearly say it's not equal to zero. In either case, the greatest integer function of 50 over 64 is zero. And that's going to be true for the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So we're going to cut it off right here. So what we get is 2 goes into 50 25 times. That's just going to be 25. 4 goes into 50, I guess, 12 and a half times. So that's going to be 12. The highest multiple of 8 that's less than 50 is 6. It's going to be 6. The largest integer multiple of 16 that doesn't exceed 50 is 3. For the last one, 1. That's 10 plus 25 is 35 plus 12 is 47. Let's keep hacking at this. Let's look at 3. Summation as k goes from 1 to 50 of 3, 50 over 3 to the k. We want the, int, we want the greatest integer function of that. Well, that's going to be... 50 over 3, 50 over 9, 50 over 27, the greatest integer of that. 3 goes into 50, I guess, 16 times. 9 goes into 50, 5 times. 27 goes into 50, 1 time. You know, 16 plus a little bit times. 5 plus a little bit more. 1 plus a little bit more. And this turns out to be 22. Let's consider 5. We want to add up the greatest integer function of 50 over 5 to the k as k goes from 1 to infinity. So we get 50 over 5, the greatest integer function of that, 
and 50 over 25 degree this integer of that and the next one will have the fraction 50 over 125 well that's less than 1 and bigger than 0 the greatest integer function will say that's 0 so this is 10 and this is 2 grand total of 12 times 7. 50 over 7 to the k. k goes from 1 to infinity. Now just for the record, the prime, let me put it here, let me put it up here. The prime factorization of 50 factorial so far is 2 to the 47 times 3 to the 22 times 5 to the 12 times 7 to some power. Well, this is going to be the greatest integer function of 50 over 7 plus the greatest integer function of 50 over 49, which is 7 plus 1, which is 8. So we have 7 to the 8. Eleven times thirteen times seventeen. Let us try number eleven. Now these are gonna start going a little bit quicker. The summation as k goes from one to infinity of fifty over eleven. Eleven to the k. Well. 50 over 11, that's bigger than 1. But the next one will be 50 over 121. This is 4. So we go to the top and we put 11 to the 4th power. Just give me a moment, please. Okay. So the next power in order is 13. The summation as k goes from 1 to infinity of 50 over 13 to the k. In fact, the greatest integer function of that. In fact, it's just going to be the greatest integer function of 50 over 13, which is 3. Next integer, I guess, is 17. So you're going to have 50 over 17. 17 squared will be bigger than 50. So 17 goes into 50 two, between 2 and 3 times. 19. 50 divided by 19. 19 goes in two times. Guess the next one is 23. 23 goes into 50 two times. Next one is 29. Now, these numbers are now more than 25. 25 goes into 50 two times. Numbers bigger than 25 either go in one time or zero times when they're bigger than 50. So 31 is going to be 1. 37 is the next prime. That's going to be 1. 41 is the next prime. These are all just going to be 1. 43 over 50. That's going to be 1. 47 
is gonna give us our 50 over 47, the greatest integer is one. And that's it. So the prime factorization of 50 factorial is, it's gonna be 13 cubed, 17 squared, 19 squared, 23 squared, 29 to the first I bet, 31 to the first, 37 to the first, times 41 to the first, times 47 to the first. Here is the prime factorization of 50 factorial. Now, just to count real quickly, or to just write down an expression that will tell us the number of factors. Just add one to each of these powers and multiply them together. I mean, that number right there is over a thousand. That's over a thousand right there. Times 13, times 9, times 5, times 4, times 2 cubed for these three. Sorry, 3 cubed. Times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. So it's 1 more than 1, which is 2 to the 5th. If you multiply this out, you're going to get a pretty large number. And that's going to be the number of factors that 50 factorial has. That completes this video. If you like math like this, I think you should subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment. Click the like button. See you guys in the next video. Don't ever forget, watch and learn.